So right now I am here at the Barnes & Noble here in Shelby Township, and I am joined with Charles DeWandler, who is a local guy from Michigan who has made it in Hollywood. And you have now gone on, not only are you an editor out there and have worked in movies for several, several years, uh, you're now an author. Well, you've been an author, but you have a new book that's out. Yes, I. Uh, my first book is Black Ice. My newer book is Superheroes, Their Movies and Why We Love Them. And I think you probably are interested in superheroes <laughs> as much as I am with yes. uh, all the movies. Yeah, I was going to say, we, and people who watch the show have probably seen your ad on our show uh, in the past. In the new book, Superheroes, Their Movies, and Why We Love Them, discover the answers to all the age-old questions. Is Superman the first superhero? What would Marvel be without Stan Lee? What happened to James Cameron's Spider-Man movie? Who is the most popular superhero? And who's winning the war between DC and Marvel? Superheroes, their movies, and why we love them. On Kindle, Amazon, or BarnesandNoble.com, or any of these other great digital bookstores. So then what gets you into the new book, Superheroes, their movies, and why we love them? You, you obviously have a fascination with superheroes. Again, your movie, parody movie, uh, is kind of in the vein of, you know, those, you know, scary movie and all those kind of uh, Zucker kind of parody movies that yeah. have come out in the past. But it, a lot of it deals with the superhero genre. Yeah, we spoof, in the movie, we spoof a lot of different movies, but we do spoof Superman and Batman in the movie. So yeah. there is that superhero element in the movie for so sure. So this has been a part of your, this has been one of your main interests, like since you've been a kid, right? Yeah, since I was a little kid, I used to watch this, the Christopher Reeve Superman movies yeah. on VHS. <laughs> and when the movie Batman came out, that's like the first superhero movie I saw in the theater. And I was about eight years old, and I just remember being like totally blown away by the Batman movie and liking like how dark Batman was. Yeah. Like I was used to seeing like reruns of the TV show. Oh, it was yeah. all campy. Yeah. And then when I saw like the Tim Burton version, it's like, whoa, that's what Batman is supposed to be. This is so cool. Sure. And I've just been into superheroes ever since. So what do you? Uh, what kind of people do you hope uh, buy the book? Well, who's the book for exactly? Do you need to be a superhero fan, or if you just have a passing interest, are you going to be able to get something out of your book? Yeah, I tried to write the book for not only superhero fans who wanted to know more about the backstory of the of the movies and the comic books. Even if they're not into superheroes, they might be into movies or something else. They might um, be interested in those backstories. Okay. Well, hey, uh, as people out there might know, we have our upcoming uh, Oscar gala at the Maple Theater. It's Oscars are early this year, uh, Sunday, February the 9th. But we do a big gala where we have all kinds of things going on at the Maple Theater. People dress up or don't dress up. They come out. They can have dinner, drinks. There's a photo booth. There's desserts. And we all watch the Oscars on the big screen together. But during the commercial breaks, uh, we put on a humongous raffle. Just by going to the Oscar gala, you uh, get a ticket that gets you basically into the raffle. And we raffle off 50, 60 different items, all movie swag. You have been kind enough to donate to that raffle at the Oscar Gala uh, signed copies of your books, Superheroes, their movies, and we love them, and Black Ice, uh, both signed by Charles Wandler. If people uh, aren't that lucky to win these at the raffle, though, how can people buy your book? Where can people find your book? Uh, how can they get these books? Uh, the best way to buy the book, to find the books, is on my website, charlesdemarnler.com, okay. and they can find the links there to order through either Amazon or Kindle or BarnesandNoble.com. I think anybody who likes your superheroes, which is basically everybody, judging by the box office, <laughs> that's uh, true. You're, you're gonna have something in this book for you. And again, you'd be supporting a local talent like you, Charlie. Mm -hmm. uh, it's awesome to see what you've done with your career uh, from the time that we worked together. And I wish you nothing but luck. Thanks for joining me here today. Thank you for having me on the show. Superheroes, their movies, and why we love them. On Kindle, Amazon, or BarnesandNoble.com, or any of these other great digital bookstores.